Hello Stoughton, this is Steve Cavey, Selectman for the Town of Stoughton. Today is December 4th, 2018, and I just wanted to report to you guys uh, uh, what we'll be discussed during today's Board of Selectmen meeting. So today was the very first night that uh, Dr. Uh, Robin Muxian was uh, reporting to the, uh, the Board of Selectmen uh, as our new town manager. We spent about an hour or so uh, with a little bit of an introduction, a reception for her. Uh, and a lot of people from the town had a chance to uh, to meet her, talk to her. Uh, it was a really nice gathering. We had a little bit of uh, a little food and water and uh, and had, uh, uh, had a really nice gathering to say hi to her. So then we uh, moved into uh, to the meeting itself. Before I go on, I just want to mention that the next meeting is going to be December 11th. Uh, and during that meeting, we're going to mostly be covering uh, licenses and permits. Uh, there's a lot of... Uh, a lot of businesses that still have information that's due to us. Uh, please, please, if, if you're if you're watching this, get that in as, as, as soon as possible. Uh, we want to make sure that you can start 2019 without any issues. Uh, so, the next uh, item was a town manager report. Uh, it, it was it was uh, long and comprehensive. I think I think you really should spend the time and watch uh, watch it and see see what Robin uh, is thinking for the town, what she's what she's been doing. Uh, the one thing that there, there was a lot of information covered. The one thing I do want to mention is that she started working on the budget with uh, with our um, financial team. And when she started the budget, uh, she we were currently at a five million dollar deficit, uh, and that was last week. Uh, we are with with a lot of um, uh, you know cost sa cost saving uh, measures and and um, uh, you know. Working on what what's possible within within our current budget, uh, they were able to get it down from five million down to four million, but we still have a four million dollar deficit that we have to cover. There's no intention of of that those deficits being um, further reduced with uh, with headcount or anything. So uh, uh, she seems pretty confident that that uh, we can get there. We can get down to a, a balanced budget. As with last year, that's that's our uh, plan is to walk into town meeting with a balanced budget. Uh, and so, uh, you know, we're going to let her continue to work with uh, what she has available. And as information becomes uh, readily available, she'll uh, continue to work on that budget with, her, with, the rest, with the rest of her financial team. The next thing we covered was um, uh, we talked about uh, we had a request to make a change to some of our zoning. Right now we have a solar uh, silver overlay district district in uh, northern Stoughton it takes up a very small area uh, where the silver solar overlay uh, is is uh, permitted uh, for a small portion of Stoughton in the north and there is um, a company that's looking to do something very similar in southern Stoughton so uh, uh, they were looking to see if, if there's a possibility that the zoning could could accommodate that um, with the request, we, we've uh, referred that to the town planner uh, to, to, for, for their recommendation, for the town planner's recommendation. Uh, we've also, uh, this is this uh, sort of, um, uh, uh, this, this sort of thing, like having solar panels around, um, could benefit uh, benefit the town in a lot of different ways. So we also ask that, that uh, the town manager work with the town planner, the town engineer, uh, and the economic development coordinator see if there's any other areas of town for which this this would make a lot of sense if, or if there's any changes that we can make to our current zoning to uh, to accommodate this uh, you know for example I, I just, uh, just as an example of what I was thinking was um, uh, perhaps working in uh, you know uh, the zoning uh, for industrial could, could maybe allow this by right whereas general business could you know, maybe incorporate this through zone, through a permit or something like that just any anything that might might benefit it because it's a it's, it's a passive way for those companies uh, for companies to earn income they can just put solar panels on the roofs uh, uh, contribute to the to uh, uh, energy and uh, and you know Town's better off for it. The businesses are better off for it. So it's, it's, it seems like a like overall a healthy uh, thing to have. We just want to make sure that it's in areas that are appropriate. Our, our zoning has had issues with with sometimes there's inappropriate zoning for certain uses. So we just want to make sure that we we uh, are out in front of that. 
Next item we covered, public safety building. So this was something that uh, we brought to town meeting uh, and town meeting, uh, we had found us a, a location that was uh, town owned. Um, so we didn't have to go to town meeting to request uh, money to buy a site. Uh, but when we got to the, to the port portion where we had to, we were asking town meeting for uh, funds to, to, for the planning of it, for the um, design, uh, they rejected that. Uh, town meeting rejected uh, appropriating money to design the facility. And it seemed like a lot of that had to do not with the, the fact that they didn't want it to be a public safety building, but they didn't like the site. And um, uh, that, you know, so uh, their influence over, over where the site is uh, was felt. And, and I think that uh, it doesn't change the fact that we need one. Um, and I think it's, a, it's, for myself, I think it's a shame that, that we weren't able to get that through. But it, in, it also in several ways, I really understand uh, why, why uh, people voted the way they did. And so we're trying to find a way to, to, to uh, uh, you know, get it right, get, to get this through uh, the next town meeting. We're not going, we're, it's not going away, <clears throat> and we need to keep on addressing it until it's done. Uh, we had, everyone had a chance to, to express some of the comments that they, they had heard from, from people in the community. Um, I certainly did as well. Um, uh, Chairman O'Regan and, and Selectman Hill. Uh, they're going to take this away and, and work through a strategy to get us through uh, through the next phase of this. Uh, also, the town manager is going to, she seemed to be very interested in working on a communication plan that would help people understand better uh, what uh, what these buildings currently look like, uh, why we, we, we think it's important to, um, uh, to have a public safety building that includes both the fire and the police. Uh, most of this information is readily available. We're just going to compile it in a way that makes sense, put it together in some sort of a business case so that people can see where, why we are uh, going about it the, the way that we are. Uh, so the last item <clears throat> is uh, we discussed, so it was sort of a two-parter. We had the 2000, it was labeled 2009-19 uh, annual town meeting. Uh, that's not exactly all we covered. It also included the 2018 special town meeting we just had. I'll get to that in a second. But for the um, for the, the part B of this, which included discussion of, of proposed warrant articles, uh, topics from town staff and direction on pop, prop, uh, possible preparation of articles, uh, most of what we've seen are uh, capital items. Uh, the town manager has not had a chance to review those and, and, and wants to do that before she gets an opportunity to, to recommend them, uh, which is, is perfectly fine and, and reasonable. Um, so she's going to do that right you know, uh, over the next uh, this week or so. Uh, I'm guessing by the 11th, the next time we meet, we'll probably discuss it, if not the 18th, uh, which is our following meeting. <clears throat> so she's, gonna re she's going to review those. Uh, especially in light of the budget work she's done, she wants to, you know, it's a good, good idea to, it's, it's um, you know, they're related, that she's going to, to understand the big picture. Uh, but we also <clears throat> wanted to discuss uh, the 2018 special town meeting and, and debrief a little bit, get, get an idea of uh, what, what worked, what didn't work, and, and, and to do, be better and find a better way to communicate what we need, uh, to express it, to, to, uh, find buy-in and um, and to help town meeting mem members, representatives um, understand uh, what we're seeing and why we're why we're doing what we're doing. That's not to say we'll we'll convince them, uh, but there are certainly some some ways in which we we can just improve our communication. Uh, Selectman Hill recommended that we have a whiteboard session and just go through what needs to, what we need to do to fix it. Well, we need to fix uh, the issues that we found. And uh, we're going to push that until probably the first week in January. <clears throat> so we'll talk about that then. Um, I also think there's, there's a need for a much more comprehensive study of, uh, of our processes. Um, and uh, you know, I laid that out. Um, I'm going to make that public. Uh, but it's a two-page document that includes all of the things I think that we should, at least at the annual town meetings, we should do each time. And, 
uh, the information we should collect. We should be soliciting people's opinions, town meeting representatives, uh, standing committees, uh, and getting their view on, on what's working, what's not working, and the recommendations um, uh, as well. And there's just a lot of data also that we, we, we should be combing through uh, that, that uh, well, currently there's no, nobody looking at it after it's been done. So that, that, was the, uh, that was the meeting. It was long, uh, it, it was very informative. I recommend if you get a chance to watch it, please do. Uh, thank you for your time and thank you for allowing me to serve the community. Uh, have a wonderful, uh, wonderful evening. Take care, guys.